Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back once again to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick, Colorado. I'm Mark, and today I'm going to be showing you a Superstar made by Numar. This is a 3746 model. Um, as we go around, I found a couple of things I haven't talked about before that I'm going to point out. And of course, point out some of the regular things. I always like to kind of fall back on Numard's slogan when you know the difference. And I'm going to point out some of the things about this coach that really uh, bring that point to mind. Uh, this unit is stock number 5N190451. It's a 2020 Superstar. And as long as you're right there, Cherry, just stay there. I'm going to open the hood and we'll get started right here. Notice how easy this hood is to open. This is a uh, Freightliner chassis with an ISL 8.9 liter Cummins engine. Uh, it's a 350 horse with it's about a thousand or a thousand foot pounds of torque. One of the nice things about these Super C's and this model in particular, they're really designed to be a workhorse when it comes to towing heavy loads. Uh, this is rated to tow 20,000 pounds. We're on a 38,000 pound chassis, uh, 58,000 pound gross combined weight. Some of the bigger ones, the 40 footers, they're on a 40,000 pound chassis with the same 20,000 pound towing, same engine, same torque. Basically what that means is it's 2,000 pounds lighter. When you're going up Eisenhower Pass, you've got a ton less weight. And that means a lot when you're climbing the hill. So these will actually uh, perform better than the 40 footers in that they're lighter. Uh, the Super C's are real easy to access the engine, do any work you might need to do, uh, power steering fluid fill. You can see your uh, uh, water separator here. Uh, down here in the in the chassis, we've talked about it before. It is a, a straight axle chassis. It's not independent front suspension. You can see the bell crank system that uh, Freightliner puts on there, which uh, helps prevent transferring the road bumps and holes and so forth up to the steering wheel. Another nice thing about the Super C, with the front engine all the weights over the front tires so it makes for a better towing situation and your radiators right here in front much better cooling that way let's move around over to the other side and again you can see how easy it is to access your coolant uh, your windshield washer fluid your uh, air filter and manifold and again this is your air pressure gauge that tells you uh, if that air filter is getting clogged. When it gets up into that red area, it's a good indicator you may want to change your filter. And uh, like all of these uh, Freightliner chassis, it does have a, a strut on it, so closing it, it's not going to slam down if the wind catches it or something while you're working on it. It closes nice and easy. There we go, just that simple. Uh, let's move on down. I, I don't have the key, it's inside, but behind here, and you have one on the other side, you have your fuel fill. So there's fuel on both sides, and on the driver's side is your depth tank. This is where you would fill them. It is a three-way camera system, so you have side view monitors as well as your rear view monitor. Uh, if you look up at the awning, these are great Girard full-length awnings. There is an LED light up there. Uh, just really nice looking at night. It has a motion sensor. It acts the same as a wind sensor. If they start bouncing, it's going to close up. Let's go ahead and take a look at our compartments. Now, a lot of these are just storage. And, uh, you know, they're, they're quite large. And I'm going to point out some things about the, uh, the star foundation and the chassis when we get to the back. This one actually has your batteries in it, and it's on a pull-out tray. Those are six six-volt AGM house batteries. Also have your coolant fill 
for your OASIS system. Again, very easy to access. Newmar puts a lot of thought in all of their systems, uh, how you can get to them, what to do if there's an issue. Move back here. This is your hydraulics for the uh, leveling system. And again, that's on a pull-out tray too, if you want to pull it out and need to add some hydraulic fluid or something. In this one, we have our TV. It's got a nice Bose sound bar. You see a handle here. This is a low point drain or a water tank drain. Uh, just easy to access when it's time to empty your uh, fluids. And again, I like their doors. Very thick, well insulated. Uh, they close with a, a solid latch. Just a great system. Some nice docking lights here. So when you are hooking up at night, you have some light. Back here, a couple of things I'd like to point out. Number one, none of your Super C's really have pass-through storage all the way other than the Super Stars. I like the way Numar did this. Uh, you have a pull-out tray here. This hitch here uh, it comes with a two inch receiver hitch, but many times when you're pulling a heavy load, you have the two and a half. So you get the adapter uh, to put on it to pull your big, you know, 20,000 pound stacker trailers or a six horse uh, living quarter trailer, something like that. Another thing that, that Numar does, and you know, I just found this out from Bill Habercorn, our technical expert. These actually are your uh, awning controls and I had a customer ask what happens if the awnings coming out on you while you're going down the road or somehow it malfunctions you can unplug them right here and you know that is no longer a problem you got your slide out controls here oftentimes if you have a glitch with your slide all you need to do is disconnect it wait 10 or 20 seconds plug it back in it's like resetting a computer so all of these are are very handy to access you do have a couple of uh, of uh, 110 plugs here there's one up in a front compartment maybe you want to bring your uh, induction cook surface outside, put it on your slide out and cook on it. So right here is where you can plug it in. Oh, one other thing, we, uh, we have the central vac system, the inner vac, and I actually have the hoses and uh, attachments inside. I'm gonna demonstrate that in a little bit. It's nice to have this out here because you can clean out your compartments very easy. And then, over here again, a full pass through. They do uh, give you a couple extra floor tiles there. One of the things I've talked about in the past and I'll point out again is the Star Foundation. You can see these members here, the way they're gusseted down. From your main chassis rails, you notice that the floor joists they're, they're not sitting directly on the chassis rails. It makes for a stronger platform to actually uh, build that floor on and put all your heavy components on. That way you don't get the twisting and the tweaking when you're going down the road. Uh, the tiles aren't gonna crack, your grout's not gonna pop out of there because it's a more solid platform. Right here, nice little feature, we can pop the hood and you can access the storage from back here. Got a couple of nice storage tray for oil or fluids or you know, uh, your gloves or tools, things you don't want to bring inside, and all nicely finished. Numar does a great job. You can see the hitch that's in there, and actually that would be the step down, not the step up to the two inch receiver that I showed you earlier. But this is rated at 20,000 pounds. That's a lot of towing. You do have a, uh, a plug here. If you're going to hook up a, a stacker trailer, you have your seven-way and your four-way plug. Maybe you're just pulling your fishing boat and you only need the little four-way. Maybe a little overkill, but it's set up for it. Again, some nice docking lights back here. You can see it's on the... Uh, that M2106 chassis, what that 106 means, that is the number of inches from the front of that chassis to the back of the cab area. 
So a lot of the uh, Super C's are made on this same chassis. Yeah, it's a great looking cap too. When you're driving behind a Newmar, you know it's a, it's a classy unit. All right, come on over to this side and I wanna talk about something that we haven't before, and that's Newmar slide mechanism. This is actually the cog that, that uh, drives the slide out. And uh, this one, you can actually see, has a little wear. It had to be replaced. It wasn't working properly. As, as quality built as Numar is, sometimes things don't work the way they should. And that gives me a good opportunity to talk about Numar's warranty and parts department. They are second to none. They can overnight parts. They, uh, they pull them hourly. You will have a rep that is assigned to that dealer. When there is a warranty claim, by the end of the day, they have been pulled, staged, checked, and shipped, and can be expedited immediately if you need any of the parts. So the way this works, this is actually uh, 12 inches around. So if you have a three foot slide, this is gonna make three rotations. And it's not the fastest mechanism, but if you look in here, you can see the motor connected to the shaft. And if you look back in there, you can actually see that cog. Like I say, Numar makes its own slides and they are probably the most dependable on the market. If you look up under this push rod here, you can see the holes that engage with that cog and drive your slide in and out. And again, a great pass-through compartment, uh, a very unique feature uh, to the Super Seas. Another unique feature that Numar has is it's actually four-corner air ride. Most Super Seas, they have rear air, but the front is just shocks and leaf spring. Uh, Numar's figured out a way to give you uh, uh, air ride suspension all the way through. Okay, over here, just another little handy storage compartment. Again, gloves, sewer hoses, things like that you might want to put in there. This is your water compartment. And uh, it's great to have these electric valves for your black and gray tank. See, you have your fresh water manual fill, or you can run it off city water. You have your uh, black tank rinse. Over on this side, your outside shower, your winterization kit with the bypass valve and a power water hose. All great features. And not something you're gonna find on entry level coaches. Even though this is only 37 foot and a relatively small engine with the uh, 350 horse, it's really a high end motorhome through and through. This compartment holds our Oasis. Uh, again, it's a hydronic heating system. I pointed out the, the thing that's different between the Oasis and the Aqua Hot Number one, it's quieter, cleaner burning, and it has two electric elements. So when you're getting down in the 40s and 50s and you start to need your heat, you might be able to run it all off your electric elements with two of them in there, where with the Aqua Hot, you might be turning on your diesel a little bit sooner. And I love the way their doors close. Great latches, great doors. Over here we have our inverter, our power cord reel, we have our surge protector here, and then our, uh, our outlets if you want to bring in your own cable or, you know, outside uh, TV at an RV park. Your uh, transfer switch there, like I said, has a surge protector. 8,000 watt Onan generator. We're running it today because it's hot again in Colorado. Uh, we got the air conditioners going inside. And over in this last compartment, just some more storage. All right, let's move around inside. Maybe get a shot of the front of that. Another nice feature I'll point out while we're here, there's actually a, a window up on top. Uh, 
I've got a, a shade covering it now to help keep the heat out, but that's a nice feature when you're driving down the road. This also has the window awning package. Notice the three-step entry. This is a hydraulic three-step, so there's actually seven steps going up. These tend to sit a little bit higher than a, a typical diesel pusher. To have that extra step makes it easier when you're starting to get a little bit older getting in. And like always, the heavy-duty uh, lighted grab handle with keyless entry and the doorbell. They do, yeah, if you were, say there's a curb right here, it'll only come out so far, it won't smash down into that curb, it'll stop. You also have a floor cover here. A lot of these mid-entry mid -entry diesels, that's open. You know, your dog or somebody could fall down there, but you can cover that with these uh, superstars. Okay. Here we are. I think I'm gonna start right here with our monitor and control panel. Uh, this is a multiplex system. See, I've got my ACs on, you know, from your home screen. You can check your tanks, check your battery levels. Up here, you've got your, uh, your inverter, your charger. It tells me, uh, you know, where my batteries are. If I do need to turn the charger on, fire up my generator, it can bulk charge, they call it. Right now, it doesn't need it. Our batteries are full. Uh, you do have your monitors over here. It tells uh, what systems are on. This is our Oasis system, and again, as I pointed out, you have two electric elements and one diesel element with this. The Numar slide-out mechanism. And then down here, uh, I've got the, the step cover. That's nice. Uh, you've got your engine heater, your entry lock, your step, uh, exterior step so it doesn't keep going in and out, security lights, battery disconnects and so forth. This is our, uh, our awnings, uh, the Girard awnings are 110 so I have the generator running otherwise I would kick my inverter on to run those in and out. Uh, 12 volt you know TV uh, hook up here if you want to turn on your signal booster. Just very convenient right here and these are your levelers so when you come in the door, it's all right at your fingertips. Uh, let's move up toward the cab. A couple of nice recliners here uh, that sit right across from the TV. We do have the Euro booth here. This does extend somewhat, and we've got a leaf already in there. Come on up to the cab area. First of all, let me show you all of the storage you get up here. For a 37-foot coach, there's a lot of storage. Now, this coach is probably more likely for two people, although there is an option to have a dinette booth that converts to a sleeper. You can always figure out a place you know, to, to sleep one or two extra people. Uh, this really is just the queen bed is your only sleeper since we went with the Euro booth and the recliners here instead of a couch. You can throw a tent in that passenger storage. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. You can sleep out under the awning if you want to come along. Great storage here. Uh, up here on the dash, it's really quite simple. Uh, you got your six-speed Allison transmission here. Uh, that is your, your marker lights. You have your cruise control over on this side. These are windows, mirror heat. You can lock your compartment doors. Uh, if you are, you know, uh, pulling another vehicle, you have a controller for that, your air brake. You have a two-speed engine brake here, just high and low. You can see we've got our generator running. This is your battery boost, and it works 
both ways. If your chassis battery is low, I can use my house batteries to start it up. If my house batteries are low and I want to start the generator, I can use my chassis battery to get that going. Uh, we do have a, a shade above us that I pointed out, and you can see it comes up. It's pretty hot out there today. I'm not going to run it up all the way, but that's a nice little feature. And then, of course, you do have a 12-volt a outlet over here. Another nice thing I like to point out about these seats, uh, well, here, you can see it on this side a little better. They are an air ride seat, so you've got an onboard compressor, and... Uh, once you get in there, there we go. You can get it where you want it, and maybe a little bit lower. You have three different adjustments for your back, the tilt on it. They are heated seats. You can hear the compressor running right now beneath us because I was just uh, using the air. But very comfortable cab area, very roomy. You don't feel claustrophobic like a lot of the Class C's with an overhead sleeper. What's that? Um, they do, yep. Okay. These do pivot around. Uh, this uh, kind of baffle right here, it's actually uh, how they can make that, that front air ride suspension. If you were to stand in the cab and stand in the house and you're driving down the road, they actually will move a little bit separately, where on your other Super C's, it's locked in there as one solid chassis. So kind of a unique feature, again, with the new Mars. Uh, our dinette booth has uh, a couple of pullouts for storage. And this model does not convert into a sleeper. There are other types that can, but uh, the Euro booth is fixed. Nice little extension here. And then storage underneath. I like the fact that Numar thinks about where you're going to put your uh, trash can. All of these drawers are soft close. You have a nice double stainless steel undermount sink with the residential style sprayer. And then again, nice uh, cabinetry here. This is the glacier cabinet, and uh, the interior is the Windwood decor on this one. Oh, I love the tiles. Yeah, the floor tiles are, are just great looking. Uh, they, they do a wonderful job making things match. I can't even match socks, but you know, <laughs> I think Michelle Howard does uh, a lot of the. Uh, designing for Numar. Very deep drawer here. And like these uh, all electric units, you get a true induction cook surface that can be removed, taken outside, plugged in in one of your outside compartments. So if you're cooking fish or something, you know, you don't want the odors inside. That's a nice feature. You also have some cutting boards here, but nobody ever uses them. They don't want to scratch them up. I can't blame them. You have the uh, large uh, convection microwave. And with the all electric, you get the residential. I think this is a 17 or an 18 cubic foot uh, refrigerator freezer with an ice maker in there. Now, I mentioned this is only a 37-footer, so it's only a single bathroom. And although the bathroom's not huge, there certainly is enough room in there. Let's open those cabinets and show them how much storage they have. Well, that corner one is deep, too. Yep. And then over here, like always, we have our uh, fuse box with your breakers and your 12-volt fuses. Everything's labeled up here so you know what you're looking for. Also overhead is a uh, fantastic fan. 
And while you're there, uh, get a shot at that mirror chalice or cherish and uh, smile big. <laughs> Let people know who you are. <laughs> the shower, again, not as large as what you might find in some of the other ones, but certainly enough. I'm going to go ahead and climb in here to give you an idea how much room I have. And, uh, you know, I'm only 5'8", but you can see how tall it is. It's got the nice teak seat and uh, the water miser system. And we've pointed this out before. What it does is it recirculates your fresh water while it's heating up. So instead of turning it on, waiting for it to get warm, all that water going down into the gray tank, it doesn't even come out the shower head until it's warm. While it's recirculating, uh, you know, going back to the fresh water, once this light comes on, this blue light, you switch your valve and then you can use your shower or your hand sprayer. You don't waste as much water. You don't fill up your gray tank nearly as fast. Another nice feature that uh, Numar's doing on pretty much all of its coaches now. Okay. As we move to the bedroom, I'm going to demonstrate one thing that I come in here and, ah, was shocked. What is on the bed? Well, what that is. When they're new, there's styrofoam, there's sawdust, there's things up in the vents that tend to come out uh, when you travel, when you're first using the air conditioner. But I like the fact that you get the, the central vac. There's you know a couple of different fixtures here. This is the one I'm gonna use now. And I'll just show you how easy it is to, to clean this up. Pull my hose out. And uh, this simply plugs in right here. Put my attachment on, and then I have a switch right here to turn it on. So I'm just going to go ahead and vacuum all this up. And again, before you pick up a coach, once we sell it to you, we do a very thorough detail inside and out. We disinfect it. We are uh, still very aware of the COVID concerns. So when you pick up the coach, uh, it's going to look great. But this is a nice little feature, easy to use, gets out of the way when you don't need it. You can take it outside, vacuum up your compartments. All right. I think I've got the majority of it here. All right. So I wouldn't be afraid to lay on the bed now. I just shut it off. Also, another feature, if you're sweeping your floor, you come down and kick that up, and you can sweep it right into there. Let me get this out of the way, and uh, I'm just going to drop it in here. I'll put it away when we're finished. So right here, you have six nice deep drawers, and again, all of them soft close. You have plenty of storage up here. This is where you'd put your... Uh, uh, satellite receivers and so forth. You have your Sony uh, uh, Blu-ray player right there. 30-inch Samsung TV here in the bedroom. You do get storage under the bed. Even over here by your uh, closet, you get five more pull-out drawers and then if you can get a shot in there you can see you have a safe a lot of room for your uh, wardrobe area a couple of uh, extra storage up above and then of course the uh, whirlpool stackable wash and dryer excuse me the splendid here
and another fairly deep drawer. So there's just storage everywhere here. You have three more over the bed, and on each pedestal, you've got a little cubby and a 110 outlet. So if you are using a sleep machine, uh, you can plug in on either side of the bed. Nice decorator ceiling too. It covers up your air conditioning vents. They can be kind of unsightly in a you know luxury motorhome. So I like the way when uh, Numar, excuse me, uh, trims out its ceiling. And of course, all LED lights throughout. I guess I didn't point out the pantry here. It was nice, very deep pull-out shelves. Ah, uh, yes they are. And a good solid lock there. Uh, there is also a dishwasher. What am I forgetting? <laughs> I think that kind of covers it all. Again, this is the uh, Numar Superstar <laughs> 3746. Uh, my name is Mark Love. If you want to get a hold of me, here's my contact info. If you have questions on this unit or any of our units, please reach out to us. Uh, if you can't make it down here, we can do a video walk around for you. Uh, you know, the RV business is kind of funny right now. We're, we're getting a little low on inventory, but we have more coming in. We have plenty of orders, uh, you know, scheduled for later in the year. So please contact us if you have any questions. Thank you, and uh, we'll see you next time.